In this week's Strongman News, World's Strongest Man have finally announced the events for this year's competition. So, the World's Strongest Man finally deliver and put the events out on their social media. A couple of events they put pictures of that weren't actually events they were talking about, but we'll kind of skip over that. Nice At least cool. the events are out there and they've put the events out for the heats and for the final. Yeah. God, we're talking like, what is it, three weeks? Yeah. Less? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So just a few days now until Europe's Strongest Man and then it's Worlds two weeks after that. Wow. Wow. It's coming around fast. It is. Okay, so we've been dying to talk about this for ages now, so let's get stuck straight into them. Starting, of course, with the heats. Now, these are in no particular order. Like, they've been put out in a certain order, but that doesn't mean much, does it? We know, like, the stone-off will be at the end of the heats, and that's pretty much it. Yeah. So first up, we've got the Webster stone carry. Now, we've seen quite a few stone carries in Strongman in recent years. Yeah. Um, I mean, I know it divides opinion. Some people absolutely love it. Some people not so much. I think it's quite boring. I quite like it, to be honest. I know you've got your own thoughts. Yeah, I've said many times I enjoy doing it as a standalone event. Mm. I think for World's Strongest Man, this is just my personal view, okay? People can be entitled to, to their own views. I think it's too awkward an event to test pure strength. Like, I would rather see a heavy farmer's walk um, whether it was for max distance, speed, whatever it might be, I prefer to see like a frame or heavy farmers to an event like this, which quite honestly, the I mean, the events for this one, we're looking at 115 kilos to about 140. Yeah, Nick That's not ways. that hard for the strongest man on earth, you know. Mm -hmm. I would personally like to see a heavier, more standard type event that people can train for. But however... I did enjoy watching the Stones at the Arnold's. And you um, might find this one more exciting, Lazzy. So this... I, I, look, this is like, I've, I've got experience using them. Yeah. The only issue I have is there are guys out there that could beat the world's strongest man level guys on an event like this because they're well trained in it. Yes. And obviously the more that the top athletes get used to it, they start to get better, they get a better feel for it. But my just personal view mm -hmm. on a carrying type of event, I like to see heavy frame, farmer's walk, yoke whatever it might be but you know i've i've enjoyed some stone performances and hopefully it's no different when it comes to this one now like we think it's for max distance we think it's going to be normal sort of stone rules that we see where they're allowed to drop 10 seconds etc but why i think you might find it more exciting is because this is going to be a three-man race well i i do like seeing sort of the head-to-heads I've, I've said before like at world's strongest man i'd love to see all 10 athletes yeah, in the no. final going head-to-head -head on say like a, a moving event that's always exciting and it actually changes the the dynamics of the events remember last year when we saw tom and mitch hooper on the shield carry yeah. and tom looked like the man went off ahead but Mitch Moore, Tortoise and the Hair type stuff coming up after. Mm. And you may see that with this type of, you might see athletes kind of let someone go ahead, trying to kind of figure out a distance they need to beat, especially in the heats where people want to be gauging how much effort they need to, to yeah, kind of put of course, in. Maybe yeah. if it was a final event, it's all about kind of going flat out. But some of the athletes might feel, I want to save energy where I can. First event of the comp, if it is, it, it might is. not be possible. But yeah, it, it changes the element slightly. Mm. Now, I think what's going to actually be the first event in the heats is probably the sandbag steeplechase. We've seen it a couple of times in competition now. It is a loading race, but with a bit of a twist, they usually um, have to load over like a yoke in the middle and then onto a, platform. onto a platform right at the end. So this is going to be three sandbags, not massively heavy from what I'm hearing, like 120 to 140 kilos, but we're used to seeing... We're used to seeing two sandbags. Right. So normally it would be a... From what we've seen at Giants Live, it's usually 240 kilo sandbags where they carry it 10 meters over the the um implement in the middle mm. and then they'll run around and carry it onto a platform three implements will make it tougher um a bit more endurance based especially if it's on the sand oh let's not even go, yeah, to go to that. I, I've, I've done loading on sand it is mm. not fun but yeah that that's definitely going to make it harder in terms of the endurance side of things so difficult one to start with because like the, the two sandbags i'd expect some quick times a third sandbag thrown in there, you may find guys start gassing out by that third one. So we're going to have to work on conditioning as well. So the deadlift this year, we've seen it a few times recently, is the deadlift ladder. Five lifts, 300 to 380 kilos. 
five lifts is a lot of lift and, and 380 at the end of a ladder mm. is actually pretty tough we kind of think of so many guys that can deadlift this kind of weight but to finish the ladder is actually a lot harder than people think you know we haven't seen that many athletes that just blitz through this yeah. yes we'll see a couple of the supreme deadlifters that will get through it fast but i'd expect a fast four to be good points on yeah. this we also have a Viking press for reps. It's going to be about 150 kilos in the hand. Typically at World's Strongest Man, well, everywhere recently, it feels like we're seeing the outwards facing rather than inwards. Yeah, it's um, just from my, my personal experience on Viking press, I always preferred facing the Viking mm. press because you can almost get a little bit of body movement into it. You can kind of go at an angle, whereas facing away, a lot more shoulder and tricep strength. Guys like Eddie Hall, obviously, were phenomenal at this yeah. type of event. Um, and also, the reason they do it facing out is because... World's Strongest Man want to be able to see the athletes' faces. Yeah, I that, that is the that. reason they do it. So mm-hmm. the cameras can much easily kind of catch the, the expression and pain on their faces. So I, I understand it. Um, but still, shoulder triceps, you know, who can do the most reps? Strongest man will win. Then we have one of your favourite events, the car walk. Oh, I thought, sorry, I thought you were going to say the stone off. Yeah, I, I love the car walk. I like it more than a yoke in terms of a spectator event just because it looks cool. You know, Mm. there's nothing cooler than seeing a guy carrying a car, carrying a car, rolling a car, whatever it is, people relate to it. So even if you're not a strong man, you kind of look at that event and you think, damn, that looks cool. Yeah, that's a car. (laughs) Fred, Fred, Fred Flintstone running along with his car on his back. And then we're back here again. We have the stone off. I think we expected it. I, oh, 100% I don't expected think we it, can but I'm of... still disappointed. Sure. <laughs> still disappointed. Do you know what? I wouldn't mind a stone off if it was to like decide a tiebreaker. Uh, something I've like said, that. I've said that many times. Yeah. Like, we saw the tiebreaker with the women's contest at the Arnold recently, and that was fun. And I think a stone off for that type of situation is ideal. Yeah. However, I'm just not a fan of it as a last event for multiple reasons. One, I don't think any one event should have more power than other events in a strongman competition yeah. because that's the point of strongman it's the variety that you have um let's remember the first you know, however many world strongest man contests there was no stones um and you see plenty of strongman competitions that don't always have stones i think stones are a great event nothing wrong with it no but sometimes stones in the heat stones in the final it's been that way for, for many it's years it's the deciding now. event for what it, it's always, always yeah. the deciding event and you know some people do see it as as you know, the, 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 it, it kind of empowers what strong man is, lifting um, stones. But I think as an athlete, you all excel at different things. Mm. So, for instance, let's take Iron Bibby. If the last event was a log lift for Max, yeah, he's going to be thinking, I can cruise this year and I'm just going to take it easy, come third and then kind of make sure I get through. And he's got that security mm. so an athlete that is very good at stones can almost look better at world's strongest man than they might look in another competition you know an athlete like mitch hooper if you had the car walk or a yoke as the last event he's a banker yeah obviously there are athletes that are great at stones and, and that's fantastic but i just don't feel doing the same thing year in year out is bringing anything to the competition no. we've seen a lot of athletes that probably have ended up not getting to the final because of this even though they were better throughout the contest and quite honestly i'd rather see just stones and everyone do it rather than just second and third because now the standard is so high at strongman you may have a situation where fifth fourth third and second are within a you know within a point of each other Mm -hmm. and that's more exciting two of them suddenly can't even do the last event so for me I would rather just see a normal event put in there where guys can, you know, we'll we'll look at the heats as the semi-finals, if you like. Mm. There are some fantastic semi-final events you watch in other sports where there's real battles. You don't need to kind of do anything gimmicky. Yeah, unfortunately, sometimes you do have a group that one guy just kind of runs away with it or two guys do. But I think that we're at a level now in Strongman where there's so many good athletes. Yeah. We're seeing less of that. Mm-hmm. So for me, I'm not a fan of the stone off. I see a couple of people that are. But for the majority, I find, you know, especially yeah. athletes, athletes, people that compete. Yeah, people so that much. are going to have to... I mean, look what happened to Brian. Yeah. Like, he had to lift that stone 10, 11 times before going in. So then you've got a divide in how rested people are going into the final, what they're capable of doing in the final. I think 
it takes away from the final event. So final events, Auntie Liz, let's go through these quickly. This is very exciting. So we've got the Giants Medley, which is the frame carry into a yoke. Now they had this, I think it was two years ago now, was it? Or was it? Yeah, 2022, they had this in the final. Yeah. Um, it's going to be something like a 350 kilo frame and then into a 460 yoke, I believe. Okay. 20 meters each. Yep. Yeah. It's good, good solid first event. It probably one of those events where we'll see people going head to head as well. Visually looks good. And an event that personally I love. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm much more happy to see like a heavy frame and a yoke than the stone carry. Yeah. We also have a max height throw in there. So it's a keg toss throw. The keg is going to weigh 15 kilos. And the record for that, I believe, belongs to Brian Shaw is 7.75 meters. Quite an exciting one to have in. I think it's good as a final event where they're going for height rather than for speed. Yeah. Sometimes when it's for speed, mistakes can happen. With this event, the athletes get three attempts, That's I believe, right, at yeah. each height. So we are gonna see who is the best thrower. Yeah. You know, you've got an opportunity to make a mistake and take a risk, but um, three attempts, the best thrower wins this type of event. So yeah, it should be good. Mm. Then we've got the event I'm most looking forward to seeing in the final, the Max Axel. Axel from Max. We have not seen a Max Axel for a long time in Strongman. No, we haven't. Um, I guess a couple of years back when Iron Bibby broke the record in London. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, Mitch Hooper's looking phenomenal on this. Tom Stoltman's overhead has become very, very good. Some other athletes out there that really excel on overhead events. Mm -hmm. Be interesting to see if they can make the final. You know, you're going to have athletes that maybe think they've got a good chance of that record, mm. but maybe do they do they or don't they get to the final that's a, a very important factor when it comes to world strongest man the other factor is we're talking in the final now so i won't be surprised if we don't see any records no you know athletes will be, be fatigued but yeah. i am looking forward to seeing a max overhead event mm. at world strongest man again and the opening weight for this is it's going to be about five stages and they're opening at 170 so it could be you know guy zero ring as well we'll see axel is a bit harder in terms of the clean yeah a lot of athletes, they can press weights, but they can't get the axle from the floor yeah. to their shoulders. So we will see. 170 is a heavy starting weight, and I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll go over 200. Yeah. How high and how close we get to world record, we'll have to wait and see. So as always at World's Strongest Man, we have a deadlift in the final, but it's not any old deadlift, is it? No, it's the BF Goodrich Tires HD Terrain Deadlift. <laughs> It's a tire, it's a tire it. deadlift. It's a tire deadlift. It's a tongue twister deadlift. I know. God, I can't even say fingers. Fingers. How am I going to go for this? I think we're going to refer to this one as the deadlift. The deadlift. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Deadlift for reps? Yeah. Yeah. For reps. Do we know the weight? Hold on. 360 kilos. Now, initially, we were thinking it was like a 12 inch deadlift, but I'm hearing now it's standard height. So, standard height. so I should imagine with the, the, the tires, the athletes will be on a platform so yeah. that it's more nine inch pull, um, standard mm. deadlift height. Best deadlifter wins, obviously. We'll see some, we've seen some big reps on 360 over the last few years. Athletes will be tired at this point, but I still expect some big numbers to take the win on this one. So we saw it in the heats last year, but now it's made its way into the final. We've now got the Conan Circle. Yeah, back when Marius Pujanowski was dominating Strongman, this was a very popular event and it kind of went quiet for a little while, but it's starting to make a comeback. Some of the you know more athletic type Strongman are very, very good at this. Matt Rag did really well on this at the um, World Tour Finals. Yeah. So, you know, I think we'll see... We've seen a good kind of mixture of events in the final this year. I'm quite liking these events. There's some events focusing on like that explosive power needed for height. You've got the deadlift, obviously, the max overhead, mm. a carrying event. Good mix of events in this final. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this. I feel like some people are going to say these events are too light. But you have to remember at this point, we're like 11 events in. We've well, got we? a max event in there in terms of That's the excellent. overhead. You've got a very heavy deadlift for reps, and three, mm. 360 is heavy. Yeah. But, you know, we can say, oh, yeah, guys can deadlift 400. All right. But by this point, you get a couple of, couple of reps. You don't want to kill them, though. <laughs> you know, you, you, not even that. If you get, like, 400 for reps, say, yeah. half the field will f fail at this point, and a couple of guys will get a few reps. Uh, at least with this, we might get someone get close to double figures. Mm. I don't think... It depends who's in the final. It depends who's in the final, but like how many guys have done 10 with um, 360? Not that many. Not that many. Uh, Thor, but Thor. Um, yeah, not many athletes. Yeah. So I, I think we'll see a good amount of reps without being stupid amount. Yeah. We've got the max axle. It's a good, decent, heavy um, medley to start with. 
the Conans. Do we know the weight of the Conans? 200 kilos in the hands. So that's pretty heavy as well. Um, just good mixture of events. You know, we can argue about the best setup. I prefer to see more events in a final of World's Strongest Man, but I'm pretty happy with what we're seeing with these events. And then finally, they are finishing on the Atlas Stone. Starting stone is 140 kilos. The fifth stone is 210 kilos. And we've seen over the years, the World's Strongest Man stones are pretty tough, mm. with Tom Stoltman dominating the stones at the World's Strongest Man for the last few years. Once again, I expect nothing different when it comes to this event. If someone wants to beat Tom, they need to be ahead of him by a couple of points going into the stones because he is phenomenal. But there are some very good stone lifters as well. And if you finish this set of stones in the final, you, you, you deserve to be on that podium. Ah, so there we go. We can all breathe easy. We know the events. That's lovely. Now, now we've, we've just got, got four names to wait for. <laughs> Still need to wait for four, four names. names. Obviously, World's Strongest Man officially announced that Martins and Kiliaskovsky have unfortunately had to pull out, which means rather than two spaces, there are now four spaces still up for grabs mm -hmm. at World's Strongest Man. Go onto their Instagram, they've put like a post out saying, who do you think should be there? We've put our thoughts into that. There's a couple of names that we think should be at World's Strongest Man that haven't been invited yet. Um, hopefully they get an invite. I mean, you're at the point now where some of them won't even want to accept the invite because it's kind it's of so gone beyond yeah. the time of, of being able to put like a solid prep in. So mm -hmm. I, I understand that as well. But yeah, four athletes still remaining. We obviously have Europe's Strongest Man coming up this weekend, which I'm sure will decide a last few places as well. So on to other news, non-World Strongest Man news. And last weekend, we saw the second Strongman Champions League competition of the year. It was in Martinique, which looked really nice by the pictures. Very nice. Very, very jealous. And it was won by Tristian Hoth. It was mogged by Tristian Hoth. Tristian is a name that should be, you know, being looked at for World's Strongest Man. 100%. He won the Magnus for Magnuson Classic. He He's did. just won this, doing very, very well. You know, congratulations to him. He's looking yeah. awesome. And then in second place from the Netherlands, we had Calvin de Reuter and in third place was Germany's Dennis Kolaras. Yeah good to mm. see both of those athletes doing well and um, Champions League look like they're having a good time they're over in Martinique. Way of a time. So there's been a few things happening over in the weight classes. Uh, last weekend Chaos must be the busiest strongman promoter in the world. They had they're another doing competition. doing every weekend right now. Yeah so last weekend they did England's Strongest Man under 105 and that was won by Thomas Owens. Yeah congratulations to Thomas. And also in the under 90 kilo class, we saw a new log lift world record, 170 kilos lifted by Victor Lingman. Fantastic. From Sweden. Yeah, yeah. Good to see Swedish athletes doing really well. Another world record. It's incredible. 170 kilos at 90 kilos body weight. There's some strong guys out there. They really are. And finally, also in Sweden, there is a new open deadlift world record. It's 423 and a half kilos. The half is important. Very and it was lifted by Frederick Svensson. And I believe that Frederick is a master's athlete as well. Is he really? Oh, if if sure. you're not Frederick, then I apologize. But <laughs> I, I believe he is. Oh, there you go. So, oh. awesome Definitely list. impressive. There we go, that's all I've got today, Lottie. We're doing it a little bit early, obviously. We've got to go to Leeds for Europe's Strongest Man, which is very exciting. But um, yeah, there is your weekly news. Yeah, obviously the main news, World's Strongest Man finally announced the events. We can kind of build up some excitement for that, but let us know your thoughts, guys. Let us know your, you know, if, if you have other Strongman news that's kind of happening in your region and you want us to report on it, send us a message. We obviously don't get to see absolutely everything that's going on, but we hope you're still enjoying these news videos. Please remember, like, share, and subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you guys next time.